last night, I died again. Whoever murdered him must be found, or we're all in danger. I'm gonna need access that you don't wanna get. Yeah, I saw the trailers for this uh, a few months ago, uh, and I knew it was coming out. Uh, and I looked at that and thought, that is, a, that is an incredibly interesting concept. Yes, yeah, I want to live forever in the body I deserve. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is fascinating. Uh, immortality isn't all it's cracked up to be in the new uh, Netflix sci-fi series, Altered Carbon. And joining us is uh, Kristen Lehman uh, to tell us uh, all about this. And, and we found out we were both, we, both born in the same hospital. Uh, such a small world. The Royal Columbian in New Westminster. Yeah. You you still reside in uh, Vancouver. I do indeed. Proudly living in Mount Pleasant. I think we were there different years. Possibly. Possibly. Just a few. <laughs> yeah, a lot. <laughs> Let me say a lot. Uh, this is explain to people how the concept of of living in the body forever that you deserve. Well, that's. Ultra Carbon is a fantastic look at classism and a really interesting take uh, based on a 2002 novel written by Richard Morgan, um, where consciousness is downloaded into what's called a, a cortical stack, which sits in the back of your neck. And you're able to keep your consciousness and change bodies, but that's, you're only allowed to have the body you deserve if you can afford the body you deserve. If you can afford that's it. Right. And there, therein comes the, uh, the, classism. the classism. So that's now right. you have developing so the people who are perfect yes. in a world that is not so perfect. That's right. So, for example, um, if uh, a young girl was killed in a hit and run and the government is, it's incumbent upon them to bring her back, they can put her in any body that they want. And you'll see in our show how that wreaks havoc with families and people's psyches because she's put in the body of an older addict. This, uh, how much fun was it to do this one? Um, it was like... Being in an opera, it was so grand and so thrilling, and we all knew we were part of this really um, beautifully expensive <laughs> experiment. Yes. It was really wonderful. I mean, we had to stay incredibly fit, which was uh, not always fun, but that's part of the job. And the partnership with Netflix uh, right now, this is, a, a, this is, again, something... Netflix keeps branching out and branching out, and so they're bringing sci-fi a little bit more in, into their fold. Yeah, they have an extremely strong genre department. Yeah. Uh, I mean, really, they want to continue broadening people's entertainment. They want to stay number one, and they're really showing um, lots of the other streaming platforms how to do it, in my opinion. Uh, it, it, was, it was a pretty big shoot as well. Where was it done? It was shot out in an old printing press factory in Surrey, Vancouver. In Surrey. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. It, the, the studio was so large that, in fact, we had trouble getting enough lights to light the expanse <laughs> of stage. I'm not kidding. Really? Yeah, it was incredible. So, so uh, because we so some do, of the scenes are darker than maybe one of them to no, be. They no, they eventually got the lights. Okay. But the, here's the thing that's fantastic is that because it's set 500 years in the future, we couldn't just go use locations in downtown Vancouver. Changing over to make it look like it was in the future mm -hmm. would be just too difficult. So. So the beauty of the studio that we got is that it was an old printing factory, printing press factory. So they had drainage for inks. And in their main press area, that meant that we could put rain towers up inside our studio. And have the drainage. That's right. For so that. It was pretty incredible. Oh, wow. This, okay, so when does, it, uh, when does it start? It starts streaming February 2nd. It starts on February the 2nd. That's right. Um, Pretty exciting. I do not have a cortical Okay, I just, I just wanted to check. <laughs> That's my mic. I just wanted to check. <laughs> All right. So February 2nd, uh, start streaming on Netflix. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, proud to say it was, it was shot in, uh, in Vancouver shot in Vancouver as well. Yeah. You know, we have room for you here in Toronto as well. Yeah, but it's just too cold here. I love you, I Toronto. I love daughter. you, Toronto, but wow, it's my, cold. Yeah, my daughter in, in Vancouver always calls me and, and has the same <laughs> argument. All right. Thank you so much for being my here. My pleasure. My pleasure. All right. Uh, here's Mel upstairs.